Hey guys, wanted to make a quick video on the Banjo Bolt upgrade for a 6 liter power stroke going to the newer style 6.4 power stroke Banjo Bolts. These are the factory 6.0 Banjo Bolts. They do have check valves in them. And this is the newer style that I went to. They have four holes versus two. And the holes on these are chamfered a little bit. And they are completely hollow. They do not have check valves on that style. I put factory Ford 6.4 banjo bolts in mine. But I wanted to show you guys real quick on mine I was doing some other work so as I had a little more accessibility but for the passenger side head it's pretty wide open I did take that little fin off I'll show you that. this little fin clips on just gives you a lot more room take a flathead and kind of pop those tabs back and they do you know that pops out and like I said you're pretty wide open down to that banjo bolt it is a 17 millimeter I got mine out with just a wrench they weren't torqued down super tight uh, this side like I said pretty straightforward just take the old one out make sure you got the old copper washer off of the cylinder head make sure that's kind of clean you will lose a little bit of fuel I think it just barely dripped down onto the ground passenger sides or driver side sorry is a little tighter I had the intercooler pipes off and the air intake pipe off and I'll show you where it's at. So right behind that radiator hose. Oh, come on. Fighting this upper radiator hose for... Oh, anyway, you can kind of see it down there. It's behind that radiator hose that runs up to your degas bottle. Now, I did change mine. Like I said, I had the inner cooler pipe and the intake tube off but uh, I did get that bolt off without taking that hose off and without losing any coolant so it's kind of finicky you can back the bolt all the way out and then you got to kind of jiggle it kind of up and away and just move that uh, move that stainless hard line as little as possible you're not going to want to be jiggling that all around but oh come on focus but it is it is doable the new one oddly enough is about a thread or two shorter so it popped right back in this uh 60 factory ones are a little bit longer but uh i couldn't find a video you know showing you how to do it if you could uh get them out without pulling that coolant line off and I uh, just want to make a quick, you know, couple minute video showing you guys how to do it. Like I said, 17 mil. Take the intercooler pipe off and the uh, air filter housing in that pipe off. And it's pretty straightforward. So, uh, see you guys on the next one.